we are in class, we're looking at uh, work energy for point particle systems versus real systems. And I remember this video from a long time ago. Uh, this is the Veritasium bullet block problem, and I, I'm gonna explain it. I already actually made a video, but I'm gonna make a new video about it. Uh, let me explain the problem, and then I'll show you the result, and then I'll explain how that works. So the idea is to take a block of wood right here, block A, and have a, uh, a bullet shot into the block so it hits directly in the center of mass. And the block gets embedded in the block, and then the bullet gets embedded in the block, and it goes up some height, goes up to some height H, and it comes back down. That's, that's okay, right? We can understand that. Now the question is, what if I, not me, what if Derek uh, or somebody else shoots the same bullet into the same block, but now it's off center? I think we'd all agree that it, it's going to cause it to rotate and go up. But the question is, will it go up higher, the same height, or less height? Uh, so I think the common answer is to say, hey, well, this one's rotating that one's not, so it has rotational energy, so that means it's not gonna go as high because some of its energy went into rotation. Let's watch the, the part, uh, and I'll link to the whole thing down below, uh, and then I'm gonna explain it in terms of work energy, real versus point particle systems. Okay, so let's switch over here. Um, let me mute this, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up the, that, okay, that's muted. So this is a slow motion of the two side by side. Uh, the one on the right is, hit off center and you can see they go essentially the same height it's a great experiment it's really hard to do and I, I i love it i just love this experiment so let's talk about why this does what it does back to the paper okay i'm actually going to change the problem because i don't care about how high they go let me just say this they go the same height and so that means that i have uh let's call this the I'm gonna call this the bullet, and this is the wood. So this is the mass of the wood, and this is the mass of the bullet, and this is the velocity of the bullet beforehand, and then I wanna find the velocity of the two things right after. And the velocity of the center mass of both of these right after is the same. And so if that's the case, they go the same height. So I don't really wanna talk about gravity. So I'm gonna change the problem and make my own version. My version looks like this. Here's a block. And then here's my, my bullet's gonna be a ball, like that. And it's gonna be shot horizontally. And so let's, this is the mass of the, of the bullet, and we'll call this uh, VB, it's the velocity of the bullet. And this is the mass of the wood. And then after they collide, I'll put a little dotted line right here, they collide together and they stick together, and let's call this V final. So this is the bullet stuck in there. So this is M wood plus M bullet and this is moving with the velocity v final. Uh, so let's look at this case first, and then we'll go to the, the spinning one. Um, in terms, it's really two problems here. There's a, uh, a work energy problem, and there's a momentum principle problem. Let's do the momentum principle. So the momentum principle says that F net is a change in momentum with respect to time. And if I take my system of the bullet plus the block, then there's no external forces on the system. And if that's the case, the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. So the initial momentum, and now I can go down just to the x direction just to make things nice, right? Because everything's moving just the uh, in the x direction. The initial momentum in the x direction is gonna be mass of the bullet, velocity of the bullet, uh, plus zero, and that's going to be equal to the final momentum, which is going to be the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the wood, V final. And those are on the X direction. And because they're stuck together, they have the same velocity, so I can write it like that. And so I can find the, the final velocity, V final, is MB VB over MB plus MW, yay. Okay, now let's jump down here to the second block. Oops, I drew it bigger and it's not straight. That's fine. And I'm gonna say right here, like that. It still has the same bullet, same wood, same initial velocity. Uh, and if I set up the momentum principle and I use the same system, then 
there's no difference in here, right? Because even though this is spinning afterwards, this deals with the motion of the center of mass. And the center of mass velocity is going to be independent. The momentum principle doesn't care that it spins. The momentum principle doesn't care. It's still the same initial momentum has to be the same final momentum, and we don't have any momentum component in rotation. So they have to be the same velocity of the center mass. But that doesn't explain the energy. How can they have different energies? Let's look at this in terms of energy. So they both have that same final velocity. In terms of energy, okay, so let's use uh, the work energy principle. This says the work is the change in energy, and I need to pick a system. So let's pick the system of the bullet plus the block. Now, if I have a bullet and a block, I can have uh, what kinds of energy could I have? Well, I have my block, and it can do a whole bunch of things. It can have a velocity. It can have rotational velocity, omega. I'll write that as a scalar since it's not really, but it will write it as a, as a scalar. Uh, and then it can have internal energy. So my change in energy for this block is going to be my change in translational kinetic energy plus my change in rotational kinetic energy plus my change in internal energy. So this is block A, and it doesn't spin. So omega is equal to zero. And let's just remember, translational kinetic energy is one-half m. That's the total mass. Uh, I don't want to write mb plus mw because it's too much. v final squared. Uh, the rotational kinetic energy is one-half i omega squared, where i is just something. It doesn't really matter, right? It's not going to change. That's the moment of inertia of the of the thing. Technically, it changes because one has a bullet stuck in the middle, one has a bullet stuck on the side, but that one's not rotating anyway, so it doesn't really matter what the moment of inertia is. If the omega is zero, k rotational is zero. So the change in, let's write this change in energy. Uh, if we take the system of the bullet plus a block, the, there's no work done. There's no external forces, so work is equal to zero. That means these all have to add up to zero. So I have, I'm going to write it out as k final minus k initial, that's translational, plus zero, that's my change in rotational kinetic energy, plus my change in internal energy. Now, what is internal energy in this case? It could be really anything, right? It could be a change in thermal energy. It could be deformation in the block because it takes work on the, there's a internal forces when the bullet hits there. How much, how much change in energy does it take to penetrate the block? So that, it, there is some change in internal energy because uh, this change in kinetic energy is not zero, so that can't be zero, right? The final kinetic energy is actually going to be less than the initial kinetic energy, and so we're going to get some increase in internal energy because the initial kinetic energy is one-half mbvb squared, the velocity of the bullet. The final kinetic energy is one-half mb plus mw v final squared. And we could actually calculate the change in, I know the final velocity, I can calculate this. It's going to be less than the initial velocity because this is so much bigger. Uh, and this is going to be smaller. And I don't really care about that right now. Okay, what about the other block, block B? This one does rotate with some angular velocity. So if I write the work energy principle for this, I get work equals zero is k, I'll put it translational and initial final, minus k translational initial plus k rotational final minus k rotational initial plus delta E internal. The initial rotational kinetic energy is zero, but that one's not. So that means that this is going to be the same as this. These two are the same. They have to be, right? Because they have the same final velocities. So those changes in, in translational kinetic energy are the same. So that means that this has to be equal to this. The change in internal energy for the non-rotating block 
has to be the change in internal energy plus some rotational kinetic energy for the other block. And this is gonna be a positive number. So this change in internal energy for the rotating block has to be less than the change in internal energy for the not rotating block. What does that mean in terms of the blocks? Well, if it was just thermal energy, I would say this is a colder, right? It's not gonna increase in temperature. But if you think about it in terms of damage and deformation of the block, the bullet is not gonna penetrate as far here as it does over, over, over here. That one's in the center. Because that takes change in energy of the system. It's not gonna have as much change in internal energy because it's also rotating. You can think of it this way too, because as the bullet interacts with the block, the block starts rotating. And so, so there's a, even though there's a, a contact interaction for a longer time, the distance that it moves is not the same because the block's moving too because it's rotating. So that's the explanation of the bullet block problem. I think the most important thing is back over here with momentum. You know, we can always think about momentum. If the forces are the same, doesn't, and for the same amount of time, same change in momentum. If the initial masses and, and uh, are the same, uh, then the final momentum has to be the same too. And since they're stuck together, they have to have the same final momentum, and that's why they go to the same height. So it's a great, it's a great work. It's a, it's a great problem because it seems like it wouldn't work, and it actually does. And I like it.